will show you the easiest, free way to create a fillable PDF form like this, which you can send someone so that they can fill it up and click on this submit button and you'll receive a response like this in email, as well as in a dashboard like this. I know most tutorials will use Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat for this, but there is a much easier way to create fillable PDF forms. Okay, enough suspense. I'll be using JotForm for this tutorial. So go to the description, click the link, and you will reach here. But before we go ahead, let's go back and in the description, you'll also see a link for Airlift and clicking it will bring you to this site. So basically, this is a free plugin that will help you triple your website's loading speed with just one click. Now, we built it and we can shamelessly say that it is pretty awesome. So do try it out and share it with a colleague. Now let's come back and then click on sign up with Google here. And here is the dashboard. To create a new form, just click here on create form. There's a bunch of templates here. You can go ahead and choose any of these but for now, I'm going to choose start from scratch option and select classic form. Go to the top here and change this to PDF editor. Click on new PDF here, then new PDF form. Select this blank option. OK, on the left, you have all your fields and basic elements for the form. And this is the page you'll create your form on. As you can see, we've already got a header here and a submit button and I can change their placements and resize them like this. You can also click this button here to customize the entire page, like changing the colors, adding a background image, or changing the font and spacing. Let's say that I'm creating a form for a client and my business is video production. So I'll just click on this heading and change it to something like video production request form. Now, I'll also add a heading image, which I'll replace with a logo. So to do that, I'm going to go here. Let's position it properly real quick like this. Select my logo. There you go. Looking good. Now let's add some basic fields to the form. I'll drag this full name widget from this field tab here. I can also make this required by clicking here. This options tab also lets you add a middle name box or add a prefix like this. Now, I don't need them, so I'm going to skip them for now. Oh, wait, I'll quickly make this small adjustment. There you go, yeah, it's done. I want an email field here, so let's drag and drop an email box like this. I'll also make this field required as well. Okay, now that is done, I'll quickly add a phone number and a date and time field like this. And change the title like this. And for date and time, you can set it to the current date and time zone from here, but I'll keep it none as I want this to be an appointment date and time that the client can choose. I'll add these boxes here like this and change their color from here. Let's jump into the primary questions for this form. So I want to include a checkbox for the different services that I offer here. I will go here on the left and click this. So let's drag it like this. And to customize it, I'll change the title to services and then add these options one by one like this. Now I can spread them out by clicking here and then let's enable this other box as well. Okay, now I need an address field. So let's drag that in and then I'll make this required as well by going here. Okay, let's go to the options at the top here. Now to see where my client is from, I'm gonna quickly add a country selection field by going here. Next, I want to know what kind of payment method my client is comfortable with. So for that, I'm gonna drag a drop down box like this and change the title to payment options. Right now, let's go to the options tabs and add the different choices one by one like this. Hold on, we are very nearly done. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add one signature section here. Let's quickly change this alignment to this. 
and then add an empty box here to make some spacing for the submit button. And then move the submit button here. Okay, that's it. Our form looks pretty darn good. So let's go to the top here and click on settings. This is where you can change the form name, status, and even encrypt the data that you're gonna get from your customers. Let's go to the left, click on email here, and click on add email. You'll see these three options here. The first one is the notification email, which basically lets you set up an email for all the submissions that you get from your form. The second option is an autoresponder, which sends a response or a notification to the person submitting the form. The final one is digest email, which sets up an email that gets digest emails for all your form submissions. First, let's set up the notification email quickly. Just click here, and it gives me options to customize the form fields. Now go to recipients, and you can change the sender name and the recipient email here. I'm just gonna keep this as the default email, but you can change this to any other email that you want. Now let's go to the advanced tab here and enable this attach PDF option. This makes sure that we get the final filled PDF attached in the mail. Let's save these settings by clicking here. Okay, click on the publish tab here and then download. Now it'll take a few seconds to process the PDF and then once it's done, you can click here to download the PDF form. Awesome, let's test to see if everything works properly. I can fill out the form quickly, hit submit. Now let's go to our email, open the response and this is what the data looks like. If you don't like opening each email, a little bit like me, then simply go back to JotForm then click here and go to the dashboard and voila, all the submissions are right here. And also in this three minute video, we're gonna show you our new free plugin that's going to triple your site speed. You're definitely gonna wanna thank me later. So make sure you click here and I'll see you over there.